edition of show after the show. You get to know the people that make this community so great. Gail Dora is back with us from Brook Healthcare in the Midlands, from Newberry to Irmo. I'm so glad you're along with us to help us kind of navigate why to choose home health care for the loved ones that we have. And, and why would you choose home health care out of anything else that you can do? One of the main reasons for someone to choose home health care is so they can age at home with the independence and the safety and the comfort of being in their own home. Um, studies have shown time and time again that people who are able to age at home are generally healthier, they're happier, mm. less falls. And you have somebody monitoring, you're making sure that your loved one is getting the nutrition they need. You're making sure they're taking the medication. You're making sure the house is safe, that you're looking for you know, loose rugs, or maybe you know, pets that can get in the way. So when you have a set of eyes in the house who can do that extra help, we do like housekeeping and like cooking. So when those things do become overwhelming, then, then you have a certified nursing assistant who has been very well trained to notice differences. They you know, bring things to our attention and, and we always are learning and helping and educating so the main reason is independence. That is the one thing that we all want and we will fight till the end to keep is independence. I know it's a very huge choice that you have to make. And, and what are the signs that it's time for your loved one to have the home health care? When you start finding out that your loved one is getting lost, doing simple tasks like going to the same church they've gone to for 20 years all of a sudden they're finding they are having a hard time navigating that um if, if your parents especially mama has been so meticulous with the house and you know doesn't go to bed until the the laundry and the dishes are clean and then you start noticing things are piling up dishes are piling up mail is piling up they are becoming overwhelmed because the brain is having a hard time deciphering what to do and what steps to do to get this stuff clean. So it, it gets very overwhelming and it starts piling up. Um, wearing the same clothes, hmm. that, that's a big one. When you see your loved one is wearing the same clothes and they're stained, they're not realizing that they need the hygiene and they need you know the new clothes, the clean clothes, papers are piling up. Little signs will start telling you, and, and you know that a little extra help is needed, and, and we want to keep them at home. Such a hard decision to make because, you know, your mom and dad are always so great and so strong, and then you see these signs that you're telling us about. Uh, how, do you, how do you get through that thought process when somebody needs to make that decision? It's very difficult when you start realizing that Perhaps the roles have changed and now the child is becoming more of a parent. Mm -hmm. And that that is usually very hard because when you get to that point, most of the people who have parents who have become needy, these people also have younger children that they're taking care of. So the dynamics get really tough. And that is when you need extra help. You have to take care of the caregiver and the caregiver who has their own family and then you know mom and dad's needing needing some help you need some outside help yeah. you need an extra set and you need a non-biased extra set of eyes so you know you need someone who can tell you this is what's going on and i know it's really hard because they don't speak the way they did or the the body language is not the same. And sometimes as we get older and some people with dementia, they start speaking words that we were not accustomed to hearing them speak. <laughs> yeah. And so it becomes a little alarming. And when, when a family member comes into that, there is so much online that they can look and help YouTube, um, Tipa Snow, there are so many people out there who can help direct um, children when it's time to, to get mom and dad help. Mm. Thank you for helping us navigate through some of that. Brooke Healthcare, this is Gail Dora. 
Thank you for joining us for this edition of Show After the Show, and we'll see you for another edition coming up real soon.